Well, welcome. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at lesson 1.3, which is focusing about or focusing on end behavior. Well, what is end behavior? Good question. End behavior, what you need to do is you need to look, ask yourself this first question. What's happening at the end of the graph? Or what is the limit as x approaches positive infinity and negative infinity? And we'll be looking more at what those two questions are referring to here in just a second. But to help us out here, horizontal asymptotes are something that if we can identify a horizontal asymptote, it'll help us identify what the end behavior of the graph is going to be. And again, looking at graphs in just a minute is going to make a lot more sense of this. So for if a line has an end point, there's not going to be a limit for that side. So if you think about like a parabola, a parabola has two arrows um, at both ends of the graph. So there's no end point on, on, along that line. But if we're dealing with like the square root function, that the parent function starts at the, at the um, um, at 0, 0, at the origin, uh, that's gonna, that has an end point. But the other side of the, of the line does not have an end point. So there will be times where we might only have one limit because the graph may have an end point at the other side. So how do we refer to as, how, how do we uh, write a limit? How do we refer to a limit? This is how we write this out. Okay, so now at the beginning in this chapter, we're going to be giving you this information, but in the future, you're going to have to be able to write this on your own. But it's pretty simple, and you have probably seen this before. So let's just review what these different parts represent. So first off, when we have underneath here, obviously, LIM is abbreviation for limit. And when we have underneath here, we have two things. We have one that says x, and then this arrow to infinity. Another one that says x, and then an arrow negative infinity. The way that we read that is we would say as x approaches infinity or as x approaches negative infinity. Now this is referring to the x-axis. And if you think about which direction on the x-axis is positive infinity, that's going to be on the right side. So this first piece here, we usually describe the positive infinity first and the negative infinity second, but really can go in any order. But this first one here, when we refer to x approaching infinity, again, that's describing the right side. And as x approaches negative infinity, you can deduce then that that's going to describe the left side. So what about those other blanks? What do those refer to? Well, those are going to refer to what's happening along the y-axis. Okay, because again, we're looking to see as we read the graph from, uh, from left to right, when we look at the x-axis, when we go to the right side, and when we look at the left side, we want to describe how what value that the graph is approaching vertically. So let me write this down. So again, what we're trying to find is what value is a graph approaching vertically. Now sometimes that value, and in fact I'll be honest with you, a lot of times that value is going to be infinity or negative infinity. The graph, as we look on the right side of the graph, might be going infinitely up. The left side of the graph, like a parabola, would also go infinitely up. Or maybe the left side of the graph is going infinitely down. Other times, like we said, though, we might have a horizontal asymptote. And if we have a horizontal asymptote, like, um, like the exponential function has a horizontal asymptote at 0 for the parent function, um, so that would be, as you approach one side of the graph, it would be approaching, it would be getting closer and closer, the y values be getting closer and closer to zero. So we'll look at some graphs here and this is going to help us out. So let's look at this next slide. All right, so let's look at these first graphs here. So remember these mean that there are arrows at the end of the lines there. So if you want to add in arrows, you can just to help you out. So again, it's saying as x is approaching infinity. So as we look along the graph, as we look along the graph on along the x-axis going to the right, we want to determine what's happening to the y values. We can see as we go along the x-axis to the right, we can see that the y values are going higher and higher and higher, approaching a positive infinity. So then as x approaches negative infinity, so this direction would be negative infinity, what's happening to the y values? Well, the y values are also going up and up and up, also approaching positive infinity. Okay, pretty simple. Let's look at this other one. As x approaches positive infinity, so as x is going to the right, what's happening to the y values? The y values are going up and up and up. So they're going, they're approaching positive infinity. 
Now, the, as x approaches negative infinity, so the left side of the graph, the y values are going down, and so they're approaching negative infinity. So those are pretty simple. Now let's look at these. These Some of these are going to be a little different. So again, we're going to start with looking at the right side of the graph. So as a graph, so here's the x-axis down here. So as the, along the x-axis, when we're traveling along the x-axis for this graph, and following this horizontally, what's happening in the graph? It's going up and up and up, and it's never approaching a value. It's just getting higher and higher and higher. So the right side of the graph, it's approaching infinity. The left side of the graph, you might say, well, it's getting lower and lower and lower, but it's bounded below, so there is no points down here. It's bounded below that horizontal line, that horizontal asymptote, where y would equal 4. So it's getting so those values as we as we go further and further left on this graph along the x-axis, these values are going to get closer and closer and closer to four. So we would say that that is approaching four. Let's look at this other one. So again, as we look at this graph on the right, we see that this graph is going higher and higher and higher, approaching positive infinity. Along the x-axis. Now if you look at the x-axis, look at this down here. It's saying as x approaches 2. Why does it say x approaches 2 and not as x approaches negative infinity? Well, hopefully you're recognizing is because there's a vertical asymptote. Again, we're going to talk more about asymptotes later, but you've heard that phrase uh, before. But we do have a vertical asymptote, meaning that the graph is never going to get to actually where x is 2. There's no values where x is 1. There's no values where x is 1.9. There's no values where x is 2 either. So as x is approaching 2, what's happening to the y values? The y values are getting infinitely smaller as we get closer and closer to 2. So we would say that the y values are approaching negative infinity. Now this last one, if you notice, there's a solid point there. Okay, well that's an endpoint. So we cannot, there's no negative as x approaches negative infinity. There's no, we wouldn't even say as x approaches 2 because it just stops when x gets to 2. Okay, um, so we would just have only one limit here. So again, if you, an easy way to remember this is if there's an arrow, there's going to be a limit. If there's not an arrow, there's not going to be a limit. That's an easy little tool you can remember. So if there's an arrow, there's going to be a limit. There's an arrow only on the right side here. So that would be as x approaches infinity, what's happening to the y values? Well, they're getting larger and larger and larger, so they're approaching positive infinity. All right, well, I want you to try these on your own. So go ahead, if you don't have my notes, go ahead and sketch these out. And then I want you to go ahead and pause this video. So pause the screen, make sure you get this on your, on your, no, your notes first, if you don't have my notes printed out. And I want you to try these four on your own. Now, some of them are going to be a little trickier than others. But I just want you to think about the main concept that we've already talked about. With uh, We're looking to see what value are the y values getting closer and closer as we look at the left and right side of the graph. Remember, horizontal asymptotes will help you. And if you notice, with those last two graphs I gave you, the horizontal asymptotes, you won't always have that. So you always want to look to see, is there a horizontal asymptote that the line is getting closer and closer to? All right, so go ahead, pause this video, and try these four on your own. And then we'll... Unpause the video and see if you got them right. All right, how did you do? Let's look at this first one together. So this first one, both the right and left side of the graphs are going infinitely up. This one, the right side of the graph is going infinitely up. The left side of the graph is going infinitely down. So we would say approach is negative infinity. These are the ones that are trickier. So this is looking at along the right side of the graph. The y values are getting closer and closer to 3. And as we look at the left side of the graph, the left side of the graph, the y values are also approaching 3. Let's look at this last one. So this last one, again, we have two horizontal asymptotes there. And we can see that along the right side of the graph, as x is approaching positive infinity, these y values are getting closer and closer to that asymptote. And that asymptote, if you notice, this is at two up here, so this would be one, so this would be 0.5. So 
So the y values there are approaching 0.5. If you accidentally said 1, you had the right idea there. It's just that, again, you want to look, always look at the scale. So again, we can see there, if you uh, look carefully, you can see that the scale is counting by 2s. So it means halfway would be, tw be, two, would be 1. So that horizontal asymptote is halfway between 0 and 1, so that would be at 0.5. So again, if we look at the graph to the left, along negative infinity, we see that the y values are approaching that other horizontal asymptote, and that other horizontal asymptote is at negative 0.5. So hopefully you had the right idea. If you got the first two right, you understand the basics. If you got the last two right, you understand when they get a little bit more complicated. Uh, but for right now, we'll stick to a lot of just the basic problems. Uh, but it's important that we do get to a point where you do understand how the limits are impacted by horizontal asymptotes. So with that, good luck as you work on your assignment.